I absolve you of your sins. Hence, Gerard wanders deeper into the dungeon, facing many more mobs and critters that probably stinked, for they shall were not for eternity. The darkness seemed to fuel greater strength into these creatures, like a hunky bodybuilder on steroids. Gerard suddenly realized he wanted to poop. <coughs> Gerard, you disgusting fat ass. Why didn't you finish your business before coming here? He then realized the dungeon has no place for poo-poo. He had no choice but to request a toilet for rent. From that, and I quote from Gerard himself, greedy ass kitty cat femboy looking merchant. <laughs> How was the poop, Gerard? Hello, and welcome to Common But Untitled Mall, or C-U-M, a.k.a. Come. Ever felt tired, dying to stinky mobs, and sexy creatures? If so, we've got your back, buddy. We always have the most legendary items on sale. Let me introduce some of them. Number one would be the WMD6C cassette. This item allows users to experience the best music while in combat. So, say goodbye to the default theme, because this cassette is going to synth wave you to victory. Up next we have Paper Armor. This item is so light that it increases your mortality rate by an infinite. This is because it can decrease your armor and health to one, making you so vulnerable. Even the weakest of skeletons can one-shot you. For my hardcore homies, this item is best suited for you, my fellow chads. For our third and final items, it would definitely be the Frost Iron Battle Axe and the Half Shit War Axe. The reason why I put these together is because both of these items look the same, but don't judge a book by its cover, as the one on the left increases damage and increases skill and dodge cooldown, while the one on the right increases skill damage and decreases normal damage. I gotta be honest here, these items should not be produced in the first place. Alright, now let's talk about the company branches that are available in your area. Here's the list. With that part out of the way, now we can look at the reviews of previous customers. Whoa! Here they come. If your reviews are not here, we still appreciate your support towards our brand and company. Wow, pretty good reviews so far. Alright, that's all. We hope we can continue to satisfy your needs in the future. Now time for our companies, policies and ethics. Don't get me wrong, we love our customers. But as the saying goes, always help yourself before helping others. That's why we had decided it is best that we always set the price to the shopkeeper's desires. 
After all, what's a shop without a shopkeeper? Am I right, eh? Even if I'm not there, who you gonna buy from? Hmm. <laughs> now for our policies. Number one is no refunds. Basically, you can't get money back, even if the item in question is not for your liking or is faulty. Second being I will not review your complaints, even if you threaten me that you will do my mom. Third is that prices will skyrocket if you dare to touch me, as I don't like being touched by anyone, even if you are literally built like a mommy. Lastly, if you dare steal, I will be coming for that ass, sorry I meant by coming to kill you. Yep, hope you know the rules well now, my friends. If you are asking yourself right now, who woo can I help this handsome boy paddler and his humongous company, oh whoa. Then you have come to the right place, my friend. Now let me introduce the membership card and the healthcare card to you. Let's talk about the membership card first. The first thing you gotta know is that you gotta buy the card first. That's right, it's not free. We don't do it like that here. Depending on the dungeon levels, the cost will change as well. So good luck buying one in the late game. And you know what makes this even better, is that your membership cards will be confiscated by the end of each game making me billions of dollars ahead of that stupid bitch Mary. Now let's talk about the health care card. The most important thing you gotta know is that RNGs can sometimes be a bitch. Reason being, you gotta get one of these by combining three random items. And even if you have a fuck ton, you are still at the RNG's mercy. Or if you have nothing then you gotta return to me for, you know. So, what's the function of this card you may ask? Have you seen one of these annoying males on the floor? Yeah, that happens because of our employees slacking off after the first round of interaction with you. So, now what you need to do is, drop that card down before giving your most lovely thanks to that specific employee. After that, in the next round, you should be able to give that same guy the second round you wanted for so long. Yep, you have reached the end of this advert. If you have any complaints or question, please contact us or as number 01223456789010, because as you know it, according to rule 2, I am allowed to not give a damn thought about you. Anyways, thanks for watching this advert, and hope you guys can come inside and shop happily, and let us bleed your wallets dry. After shopping and gaining a new friend, Gerard continued his journey. Even a drunked motherfucker like him knew this task was a far greater challenge than what he had anticipated. However, no matter what fate lies against him, either by the predictions of a fortune teller high on cannabis or by his inner virtue of righteousness, Deep down he knew he has to face his destiny head on. As he followed the scent of evil, a giant gate stood in front of him. Behind it, he knew, was his ultimate destiny. 
a destiny he shall face from his past that affected his future of the past that is now, and that is the result of his poor decisions of the past, that he never thought of the future of the past. That is how he would bear this unholy f Do you really hate me that much, Gerard? All right, let me say my final words. Ahem. Now an alcoholic drunkard of a crusader of virtue shall face the music, the ultimate fate, his destiny. After he goes through that gate, there is no return until what must be done is done. Thus, Gerard has managed to overcome his destiny. D. End.